you're ready. I'm ready. Uh, I grew up here in Almond Valley, which is a small community to the north of here. Uh, lived here my whole life, and the store that I'm standing in used to be a gas station years ago. I can remember coming here with my mother. Uh, she was a school teacher, and we'd stop here on the mor in the morning and uh, get gas or whatever else we might need for the day. And school supplies, they had a little bit of everything. Had It was just like a small grocery store plus the gas station. Buy my big chief tablet here and that kind of thing. And I can remember gas being 25 cents a gallon. And uh, anyway, my wife and I married in 91 and she has always been real crafty and she likes to sew and make different projects and stuff and it's always been her dream to be able to sell that and have her own little shop and uh, I told Heather that um, you know it was in 2013 I had an accident at work and I shattered my kneecap in six places my wife took perfect care of me you know ne I never wanted for anything she was just right there for everything and then a year later I had a horse accident the horse fell over on me broke my collarbone and nearly killed me uh, and again she was right there when I needed it and so I thought as I was healing and she was busy taking care of me I thought that there's got to be some way to let her know how much I appreciate what she did for me, you know, when I was in time of need and it's, I owe her everything. If, if it wasn't for her and the kids, I wouldn't, you know, I couldn't operate the way I operate. I couldn't, couldn't do, I probably wouldn't be here. Um, and so for me, I had to write down some words that would uh, show her a little bit how I felt. And I wrote this for her when we got the store completed. I said, Laura, to you I dedicate this store for someone who always gives more. Between these walls I've poured my heart and soul. Truth be known, you've given tenfold. When I was broke, you helped me heal. I must let you know how I feel. At times I am sick and weak. You by my side, it's not so bleak. As a standing monument of my love, in my eyes you tower above. Live, love, and believe these feelings of mine will never leave. So for me, that uh, kind of sums up how I feel when I come in here. You know, I didn't build it to make a huge profit and, you know, try to get commercial and, you know, make big money. I did it because I love my wife and she loves what she does. Other family members have brought their items in here and it's a place to get them out in the public's eye. My daughter's artwork, uh, my son does woodworking and leather craft and lots of welding and uh, so anybody comes into this store you know they can do have alterations and mending done, um, they can have a special piece of art done, they can pick out some other item that's already finished uh, whether it be crochet or uh, cross stitch or any other kind of specialty item that you might find in here and it's it's just a really neat place you know we we did all the renovation ourselves. the building was in poor shape uh, if we would have been smart we'd have probably tore it down but I'm too stubborn and it's got some history behind it and it's neat for the locals to know that the building didn't get just wiped out and you just put up a new building with no feeling, no heart and soul. And so that's where we're at.